here we are back on the snowy fields this week, uh, and uh, <laughs> what we're doing is we're doing everyone's favorite winter sport. Uh, if you can guess by the by the pile of horses, of course it's ski jording. It's uh, when you ski while wearing Jordans. While wearing, actually. <laughs> Some ski <sk-jording. laughs> Let me Let me take that back. The name of this sport is ski jording. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Awkward Erections, a wholesome show about unorthodox architecture. I'm Andrew, and this is Chris. Hi, I'm Chris. So we're going to do ski joring. Uh... <laughs> Uh, it's it's uh, not a it's not a super well known sport. Uh, I just I just found out about it recently. You're it's, you're tied to a horse. You're you're tethered to a horse. Yeah, you're holding way. a rope you're, that is tied to a horse. You're not like tied to a. You're like you're skitching with a horse. You have a rope attached to a horse. You're holding a. It's, all right, no, it's like water skiing, but instead of you know, you Google it. I don't know. Google ski Jordans. Ski joring. Got to line them up, and then we got. to... Gotta get our participants attached to our horses. Though I really do feel like we should call this ski jording. I feel like we're gonna have to add some flavor to this. All right. Well, first of all, these horses are looking pretty languid. Like yeah. not very energetic horses. Yeah. We're gonna have to fix that. Yeah. That's let's let's give them some one. pep in their step. These are all different like thrusters. They just use like objects. Oh, it's just what it what it looks like. Yeah. What about that traffic cone? <laughs> Like, if it's going to be attached to its butt, I guess. It's like a unicorn. <laughs> so is fire going to come out of that? I have it set so magic will come out of it. Oh, yes! How do we activate it? I think we just... <laughs> so magic coming out. He's, he's currently locked into position, so we have to release him. Did it run out of magic? It ran out of magic. Go! <laughs> All right. There we go, it's moving. <laughs> and it's over. And this is like, this is 3D ski joring. It's, it's 3D ski joring, but we have to have a win condition. Is the win condition yeah. like getting as close as we can to a, a certain mark? Could, we, could it also be a little bit of like, we'll throw some figure skating in here too? Oh, sure. Like, like we have to like the best form maybe? <laughs> no, he got... He got pretty far. He got pretty far. Maybe maybe this is the way to go. Can we call these guys unicones? Unicones. That's cute. You know, each of these could have different different boosters. That's true. That's true. Let's do a, a plant pot. Oh, wait a second. I mm. forgot about this part. Right. We can just turn them on. I oh. don't have to shoot them. There we go. <laughs> I don't know. Why'd you flop? <laughs> the weight. The weight was too much. Oh god, it's on his tail. Uh, oh, well, that could be an advantage. It could be. We'll, we'll leave it on there. I want one of them to have like two on either side. Now what is that you're attaching? A propane tank. Oh, perfect. I just, I want it to go sideways. How do I, do... ooh, a sink. Whoa, yes! Here, you know what? We're doing everything but the kitchen sink and also the kitchen sink. And this, today, the kitchen sink's are... The fact that we're doing such a, uh, uh, a, a silly dad joke there why don't we also lampshade that joke uh and and pop that lampshade on okay why don't you put the lampshade on his head oh god <laughs> this one will face the other way yeah oh man now he's a real party animal <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes i love this tune Real good song. <laughs> oh my god! These are the best horses I've ever seen in my life. Theoretically, once I attach. Oh, this oh is already god. brilliant. This yes. horse is gonna be a real good. Oh, horse. this horse! <laughs> I don't think he's going to win. Can we call him Nunchuck? Nunchaku? <laughs> He'll be Michelangelo. Michelangelo. So we got our horses. Mm -hmm. We gotta make like things that our people are gonna be attached to. Oh yeah, yeah. There, there are people in this race. Maybe we have something better than a pot. He, he needs more here. personality. Yeah. All right. So can baby. All right, where did that go? It's in a better place now. God, they're all just inside of him. Um. What do we call this guy? Like six pack or something? Or ooh, six pack. Six pack. Uh, how many have I put on so far? 
six. Six pack. Six pack. All right. Unicone six pack. <laughs> six pack. <laughs> They're all such good horses. They are. Rope's boring. I want. I want to be dragged toward my my destination with this. I'm going to use six pack. Uh, six pack, us. sure. We'll have this nice green beam. Ooh. We'll have one person doing this uh, the old-fashioned way, which is uh, with skis. Okay. There we go. God damn. Now, Andrew, is he left-handed or right-handed? Uh. <laughs> I mean, we could we could do it even split down the middle, you know? Because like I feel like left-handers are underrepresented. Underrepresented. Jeez. Oh, all right. I, for a second, I thought you wanted me to attach it to uh, you, you know. Because between his two hands, there's there's. You want to you want to do a, a a funny pe penis joke? I mean, now that you said it. I mean, we could do a funny penis joke. <laughs> we could. Penis. We could do a funny pingus joke. Just try and stop us, Google, and by Google I mean you think. <laughs> there we go. He's he's got he's got a penis rope. Yeah. He's got very funny. This is a very funny episode. I'm looking at one. I think I want one of these to be kind of a a bit of a chariot situation. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh wow. For this one, our 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 participant is just going to sit in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They won't be welded. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They have to hold on tight. Man. Wow. All right. Wow. All right. Uh, what do you think of our next one? Now you thinking she's uh, on top of something, or maybe a, a snowboarder? Yeah, yeah. Maybe a snowboarder. I mean, the horse is doing all the work. This person's just holding onto a rope. Board. Right. They're just trying not to fall off the horse. Exactly. Whoa. You know, out of all the things that could have happened there, that is not one I anticipated. All right. Don't hurt me this time. Whoa. Come on back. Oh my God. God. damn it! <laughs> oh, that is perfect. Oh, that's a good one. What a good, good snowboard this is. I'm gonna weld this snowboard to your feet, or your feet to the snowboard. Let's do that way. Representing Ravenholm. <laughs> I forgot that party horse <laughs> does this backwards. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. One more. <laughs> she's like, she's like fighting against it. Like, no, I don't wanna. I don't wanna be part of this Olympics. And uh, looking real alive here. <laughs> Nothing about you screams. I'm yeah. a corpse. Uh, oh, that's real uncomfortable. Oh. All right. Okay. Do you want to put like a little treat in the center for the horses? Ooh, like carrots or something? Yeah, like a carrot or something if there is one. Or like, I don't know. Put a watermelon in the center? Yeah, they like watermelons, right? Sure. All right, a nice juicy melon for these horses to get to. Because, you know, the horses, <laughs> they they only run if there's something they can get. Okay, some hot dogs, hamburgers, whatever these are. What, what are those, like frozen dinners? Like... Okay, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of food in the center oh. for these hungry, hungry horses. I love that popped up Fresh and landed potatoes, like potatoes, all the good horse foods. Yeah, everything they like. All these little green circles. Blue chips. <laughs> we'll, uh, Step we'll start the uh, the show. Yeah, I guess. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the second event of the Winter Olympics here at Shake the Box. I am Andrew, and this is Chris. Hi, I'm Chris. And what a day. What a bunch of great horses. We got a great great lineup of uh, contestants here. I'm very excited. The uh, event. Advanced Ski Jording. Advanced yes. Rocket Ski Jording. Yes, yes, the old-fashioned okay. Ski Jording. Your yeah. grandfather's Ski Jording, yeah. as you may remember from uh, Olympics Gone By. The idea was you're attached to a horse on a rope on skis, and uh, you slalom around obstacles, and mm -hmm, you collect mm -hmm. rings. Much like Sonic the Hedgehog. Sure, sure. That's uh, dumb and boring. Yeah, throw that out. So we, we have we have uh, heavily sedated horses here that mm -hmm. have various rockets attached to them, and I believe the idea is for ten uninterrupted seconds, 
those rockets will be bursting with energy. Mm -hmm. And we will see how many planks of distance these contestants get. Whoever gets closest to our goal at the center of uh, Ice Field here will be the winner. Our first runner here, our first uh, Olympian, this is, uh, is uh, Unicorn from Utica. Unicorn from Utica. And they're off. All right, Ooh. he still has one ski. Okay. Not a lot of distance. All right, where he lands, this is where he ends. He got some good distance on that last uh, thrust. Yeah, yeah. That's not bad. He made a lot of, of uh, good motion toward the goal. Um, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Well, all right. Look at that. All right. You know what? Not terrible. Unicorn, well done. All right, well, uh, the next Olympian here is Party Horse from Party Horse Planet. As you can see, he has his uh, fun fun lampshade on his head. He's ready for fun, and he's ready to race. Bold move going with snowboarding, mm -hmm. but I'm sure she'll do great. All right, uh, at the mark here. Not doing well. Ooh, not doing so great. We're going to penalize her for that false start. All right, Party Horse going the wrong way, but he's... Course oh, not correct. Party horse. Oh, okay. that works way better. Way All better. right, we needed some propane. This is the third attempt for party horse. Heavily penalized. All right, party horse, are you ready? There goes party horse. Uh, party horse. He's not going forward a lot, but he is making some good distance, and he's going in reverse, and now he's got to stop. Party Horse didn't do so hot. Didn't do so hot. Well, you know what? Not everyone could be a winner. Not everyone's a winner. Party partying too late last night. Yep, you know what they say. The next Olympian, everything but, from Buttsville. We have good jokes here. They're very good jokes. Uh, and here we go. All right. Making a little more... You know, this is a brave maneuver. A Party Horse I is... forgot <laughs> that we were supposed to lock down the other Party conditions. Party Horse is trying again. <laughs> We're fine. This is all part of the rules. This is all part of the all rules. All part of the rules. I, I completely forgot that all the other contestants are still unlocked and are still moving about. You mean you forgot that's part of the rules? It is part of the rules. <laughs> I, I didn't quite specify that as well as I should, but, you know, it was implied. We'll see where everyone's, in the end, where they all ended up. <laughs> all yes, right. The other horses are allowed to move. I guess the first horse really has the advantage. Yeah, they get to move the most. Um... Yeah. Not not great rules. Not great rules, it's but you know, it's almost like we forgot. It's the first year of this sport. It is. So you know, I'm sure the first time uh, ski joring was a, was a sport, there were a lot of mistakes. So uh, imagine we can have a good cart before the horse joke here. Oh yeah, uh, let I'll just make sure to uh, put one in in post. Uh, a very good joke. All right. Uh, right here, there it is. Very funny. We have to unlock the limiters on this very dangerous horse. Oh sweet god, we gotta we gotta oh, go. Oh Michelangelo. This is Michelangelo from the the mean streets of Manhattan. Whoa! Flop, oh, right. Flopping those nunchucks not, around. Not making any forward progress. <laughs> Someone else though is uh And stop! <laughs> I'd say he lost distance in the end. Oh man. No one's making it even anywhere close to our smorgasbord for horses. All right, well, that leaves one final contestant. And just like in every Olympic event, the announcers have to ride as well. I do like that rule. It's a very exciting rule. So we have uh, Six Pack representing Shake the Box. Because we all have Six Packs here at Shake the Box. That's true. I'm drinking one right now. Oh! oh. <laughs> at least their jokes are very funny. Yeah, at least we have that going for it. Six Pack representing Shake the Box. Here we go. Three, two... One, go! Last off. <laughs> there we are. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> Our point of view, not uh, fun. Oh, it's it's like a snow globe of horses. Oh, man. <laughs> We're not making any forward progress. Oh, my God, these good horses. What? Oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> Are all, I feel all the horses are going back. They're, they're all converging at the starting line. Oh, oh. Oh, man. <laughs> Please. Ooh, ooh. 
No. <laughs> um, all right. Since it's the last round, uh, do you think our, our horses maybe had enough? Or I uh, think this is a good because uh, it's the the last extra X seconds. Right, right. Because every, everyone's using these seconds, yeah, and not just, just res. Well, we're we're not gonna win. All right. I guess uh, I guess let's see who the winner is. I think we came in dead last, just like last mm -hmm. time. So in last place, uh -oh. the announcer tied. Uh, you know, the horse, I think the horse is a little forward. Yeah, so I think uh, that was Michelangelo. So last place. Oh, here we go. This got, is got another tie for last place over here. Yeah, yeah. Everything but in last place is butt broke. Everything but in last place tied with us. Tied the with six pack. Uh, then we have next to, to last place. Uh, that's Michelangelo. Yep, yep, whose scientist did not enjoy the ride. No, no. All right. Uh, and then... One, two, three, four, five, six... Ooh, here we go. At seven planks, we have representing uh, Ravenholm... Party Horse. Party Horse. He gets a silver medal. Not bad. And, uh... So, seven planks. Eight, nine, ten, almost eleven. Like, between ten and eleven planks. It is... Unicorn. Unicorn from Unicorn. The gold medal. The gold medals. All right, come along, Unicorn. You've won. You get your mm. prize. You get all he the gets food. All the treats. Here they are. Uh, Eat enjoy. your watermelons. Eat them. Eat your fresh potatoes. Nom mm. nom nom. Omni nom nom. Uh, what a beautiful sport. God, I love the Olympics. Ah. Uh. Time for the fireworks. <laughs> Happy Olympics, everybody! <laughs>